Hello friends, welcome to Green PC YouTube channel. This channel will discuss about high yielding and most repeatedly asked questions for those who are preparing for medical PG entrance. If you didn't subscribe our channel so far, please do it and click the bell icon next to it to receive notifications. Feel free to click the like button and share your comments. Mandibular palisade after entering the human body first begins its stage in the liver. That stage is called pre-erythrocytic stage. The drugs which are useful in these stages are progranil, primaquin and pyrimethamine. These are the drugs that is used for the casual prophylaxis for malaria. After that, the neurocytes are released from the liver and they infect the RBC. That stage is called the erythrocytic stage which is responsible for the symptoms. It is on this stage that the chloroquine acts. Chloroquine, mefloquine, quinine and antisemine are the drug that is used to treat the erythrocytic stage of malaria. These are the drugs that is responsible for clinical cure of the malaria. After the erythrocytic stage, there is a stage called exoerythrocytic stage. Here, the neurocytes infect back the liver. This exoerythrocytic stage is responsible for lapses of malaria. Drug useful to treat this stage is primaquine. So the primaquine is responsible for the radical cure of malaria. Drug of choice for malaria in pregnancy is chloroquine itself. Whereas the drug of choice for chloroquine resistant malaria in pregnancy is quinine. Usually with the quinine we give doxycycline or tetracycline or clindamycin. But in pregnancy this doxycycline and tetracycline can lead to poor bone and teeth development so it is avoided. So the drug that is combined with the quinine is clindamycin. There are certain criteria for chloroquine induced retinopathy. Usage of drug greater than 5 years of duration is one criteria. Another criteria is the dosage of the drug. Dose greater than 3 mg per kilogram for chloroquine. And if it is hydroxychloroquine, the dose is greater than 6.5 mg per kilogram. High fat level is a criteria for chloroquine induced retinopathy. Another criteria is the age. Age greater than 60 years and the presence of renal or liver disease or concomitant retinal disease. MCQ time. All the following are criteria for high risk of developing chloroquine retinopathy except option A usage greater than 5 years, option B presence of renal failure, option C age less than 10 years, option D high fat level in body.